I'm Ricky here at South Austin Barbershop and today I'm going to be doing a haircut and a beard trim. Chips on you guys, <laughs> and that's your guys's. On our buddy, on our buddy. Really? Yeah, it's this new place they're doing. This. They want to start with the home site. They're practicing. They're trying this new thing on you guys. Yeah. It's just warehouse that we're gonna go stay at. It's, I don't know. That's, that's a little. Be cool. Yeah, it's a little different, I guess. Yeah. They're just trying something else on you guys, huh? Yeah, we asked them about it, and they were like, "Oh, we." We'll give further explanation, like, when you get to the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, some kind of chip, I guess. We'll explain more when you guys are already in here. Some kind of, like, device you put on your body. Yeah. And then all you do is scan it, and then you don't have to, like, pay for anything anymore. You just scan it. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Yeah, I've never Feel better already, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, Feel sir. better. Yes, sir. We all in here appreciate the things that you do for us, man. We, we never ask you to do any of that stuff that you do out there, but you know we appreciate you cleaning up and helping us out around here. So this is the least any of us could do is kind of give back to you a little bit for helping us, keeping our parking lot clean. I do get the windows sometimes. Yes, sir. Yeah, you get the windows, and we appreciate it. We all we all talk about it in here. So. Yeah. It looks way different. Yeah, the way I had. No, sir. I didn't tell you that. What's up? I can't do the warehouse thing now. I'm gonna go to uh, Austin Recovery December 18. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice, man. That's good. Yeah, I called him yesterday and had his head open December 18th. I like got a 30 day program and helps at home. Let's get off the streets and really? stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good, bro. But it's a ranch out in Buda. A ranch out there? Mm -hmm. Well, that'd be, pu that'd be like really peaceful. Yeah, you go out there and out stay. There. Yeah, kind of away from the mix of everything mm -hmm. and get your mind right, get your. Get everything, you know, saying back in order there. And down yeah, when you get when you go there, you see thirty days, and then when you graduate, yeah, you um, they put you in a I can't remember that some kind of house, a, a dime house, something. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember some kind of like sober house. I can't remember what it's called. It's like uh, I've been to a, I've been to one of those, man. Yeah, house, halfway house. Yeah. yeah, like a halfway house. Uh -huh. That's the halfway house is actually where I started cutting hair. Is it? Yeah, I found a barber in, in the halfway house. Started okay. cutting. We started messing each other's haircuts up in the bathrooms over there, and <laughs> it sparked my interest that I could connect Cut and hair. talk to somebody, and you know, help each other out, get our mind off of being where we're at. So, some of those places are actually good, man. Really helpful. Hopefully that works out for you, man. Always wanted to uh, 
I've always wanted to like build a little bus, right? And have, have it like a little barber shop and then kind of go around and uh, give out free haircuts to homeless or to just people that are like in need and need it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's kind of been a thing that I've always wanted to do. Yeah, I've been off and on actually, not day to day homeless, off and on um, for 20 something years. Yeah. I get going and then fall down, get going and fall down. It's all right, man. As long as you keep going, keep getting up, right. trying over again. Good so far? Nice. All right, so you said for the beard, you want to just bring it down a little bit? Do you want to keep the beard at all? Like, you want to keep it, right? You make sure it's there? What do you think? Yeah, I'll bring it down to like a one or one and a half or something. And we'll just keep it. I just didn't know if you wanted to be clean shaved or not, right? No clean shave? Nah, cool. I'll just double check it. What'd you say, what? No. No, no, she just works with uh, Beard Brand, the YouTube company. Yeah. I don't have a wife. I don't believe it. I don't believe in marriage, Jeff. No. No. <laughs> the black hair. Mm-hmm. No shortage of it, sir. Yeah, it's on my head. Top of my head. <laughs> This year. Oh, really? Yeah. It goes there. Yeah? yeah. Good. Thank you. 
like us. It's nothing. <laughs> Good. I knew there was something important I had to do today. I knew there was something important. Because that got me the other stuff. Oh, yeah. Heather, no. Heather do that. I don't know if you know Heather. She lives back there. When did you say your last haircut was? Um, I don't even remember when it was last really? year, I think. Last year? Sometime. Is it all offset? Was no. Oh. No, I was just wondering when the last time you got a haircut was. Starting, uh, one of the first ones that they're coming out with, um, so they make more, they make, they may try, they try to make it like exciting, I guess, because they're like, Austin's the first one we brought this out with. And Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They'll be alright. They'll be alright. I like that. Nice and warm, huh? Okay. It's a little hot, really hot, actually. <laughs> kind of cool it down in a second. All right, how's that? Is that too mm -hmm. hot? Are you mm -hmm. sure? It's good. All righty. That's it. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you one more hot towel here just to kind of soften up the hair. It's like refreshing. Yeah. How's that? Too hot? Mm, it's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. But no, it's crazy that, because I've been hearing about them trying to do that for a long time, and now they're actually. And I was like, wasn't cutting hair, and I was super broke. I was like, uh, I signed up for one of those, uh, I signed up for one of those tests, those study things. And they'd be like, yo, come stay in the hospital for a week and let us experiment on you, and we'll give you like 1,500 bucks. Yeah. Which is probably why I'm so weird now. Oh, you did it? No. No, I didn't. Come on. I was thinking about it. No, I didn't. Yeah. I got a job, like, my third day here, finally, so I was, like, super worried that I was going to be an experiment have a third eye. Well, I already got a third eye, and it's woke, just so y'all know. Anyway. I graduated in 94. Really? I was born in 95. Me too. You were? Nice. Oh, wow. Y'all yeah, were born one a year after I graduated high school. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go like this. Yep, and don't move. I'll tell you about 90% of the people that went to college don't even use their college degree. Mm -hmm. That's from what I've seen. 
I'm not working in the field that I study, but I would have never gotten my job without it. Yeah, same for me. Yeah. Same here. Well, actually, I went to barber college, so I had to go to barber college to get this trade. You know? Yeah. I've just seen a lot of people that go to college and they never use anything in the real world. You also get paid. You have to get paid by the hour. We get paid by the haircut. So basically, whoever you're cutting pays you, and then you just pay your chair rent at the end of the week. Mm. Independent contractor. Just pay your rent. Get some water and stuff too before you leave. Look straight at me. Up a little bit. Ricky here at South Austin Barbershop and I'm going to be giving Taylin a haircut and a beard trim today. So did you want to do like a two or a three on top? What did you uh, think about? A two on top and then like a low skin fade. A low skin fade and then blend the beard in. Just kind of bring it down to like a two or a one. Go for a one, yeah. Go for a one. Two on top. Normally with this haircut, we would like do a two all over and then taper it out. But uh, we were talking about it last night. I sent him another video of a of the haircut we did on uh, my friend, and it was a low bald fade. So that's what we were talking about getting him today.
Later, bro. Have a good one. Uh, low bald fade. All right. Like a two on top. He's gonna bring his beard down a lot today. Okay. Uh, now, when it comes to like a low bald fade, okay. I drop it a lot more instead of going straight through. Because even though this is low, I try to keep a lot of it up here. But I drop that way. It gives me more of a blend to keep this low. Low ball fades are the ones I struggle with the most, or I used to, but it was funny, like I struggled with them the most, and that's what I started getting the most, and eventually I was like, getting the hang of it more. Just a very simple haircut, but it's gonna look nice. I think a lot of people focus on that too much, on the on the crazy extra haircuts, and kind of like lose sight of focus on basic barbering and just basic haircuts are what's going to walk through the barbershop every day compared to the crazy blowout that's colored and so if that's what's going to walk through the most, try to give better service on it. And that's what's gonna be here. Sometimes on the creases of the head, it'll look darker, so I like go shorter to try to make it not look heavy in that spot. So sometimes you gotta go shorter and stretch the skin out. Because there would be times where I would look in the mirror and you can see it. And it would look like a line, but just a crease of their head. It's a one guard opened up, creating my next guide. The mirror never lies. I think this is one of the better techniques is to have it just the corner of the blade 
yeah. blending out. Some heavy spots. Short. Um, you sure? I guess, uh, maybe a two then. I mean, we can do the two first, and then if you want to go shorter, we can. It's gonna be pretty short. Check this out real quick. It's a two right there. That's a two. You want to go shorter than that? That's good right there. Cool. What'd you say? Yeah, it's pretty good. Gotta thank Felipe for that one. Felipe's got some good music choices. Don't worry about just it. Hit I'm gonna just change this one. I'm doing this man's beard right now, alright? I'm doing this man's beard right now. Jeez, though. Golly.
I'm Ricky here at South Austin Barbershop, and I'm giving Jack Jack a haircut. <laughs> All right. All right, what kind of haircut do you want? Okay, so you see Matt's right over there, the kind of classic kind of executive contour. I'm thinking something along those lines. Executive contour, no fade, nothing like that. No fades. Uh, I've done that tour of duty, man. So I'm, I'm ready for something classic. Right, All right. Nice, right? cool, cool. Uh, how much do you want to take off of the top? Let's leave a good deal of that. I, I find that if I take too much off, you're gonna see my high ass hairline, so. Uh, you wanna do like a like an inch maybe? Let's start with an inch and go from there, man. Cause I'm probably gonna start pushing it back with a hard part. Um, hard part yeah, let's go a hard part in there and um, let's do it back with some pomade, yeah. Maybe thin it out a little bit cause it's, it's getting moppish up there, man. Cool, and you wanna square it around it in the back or do you wanna like do like a slight taper? Let's go squared. Yeah. yeah, let's block that off. And then for the beard, um, so you can see where it's, it kind of naturally wants to go right there. Yeah. yeah? So let's, let's get that hard line. So right. you wanna, like, want it to be like right in there? Yeah, let's, let's follow that line on both sides. I know there's a little bit of a patch right there, but don't worry about him, all right? Follow that hard line, and then you know, let's just circle that off. Yeah. Cool, all right, man. All right? Yep. Yeah, I apologize that that line's hard to find up there. There's like three or four different hair lines that I go for. Uh, no, so like what I learned is like finding the center of the cowlick yeah. and then just following that okay. and creating kind of like that natural part because that's where the, where the cowlick like wants to like change hair directions mm -hmm. is where that natural part's going to be. So okay. it's like a good thing that I learned pretty early in my career here. Right. You said we're going to start off with like an inch first, correct? Yeah, let's start with an inch and go from there. And then obviously on the sides, that's just going to get knocked down. Brought to you Austin, man. Well, my family was uh, down here, yeah. and uh, I would always come and visit. Mm -hmm. And every time I would visit, I would do something more and more entertaining. And 
kind of figured time to pack up and come on down here and switch it up a little bit, you know, change the scenery. Yeah, this is like one of those destination cities, man. Like, people come all, all over. Oh, yeah, places. yeah. And, like, being in this career field here, man, I, I meet just about everyone that's from everywhere. Oh, like, yeah. it's great, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like about barbershops, man. It's like every walk of life comes in. Yeah, here. literally. Yeah. I've cut judges, cops, like, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, all walks of life. Like, yeah, absolutely. It's pretty cool. And that's what I dig about these videos is you get a little bit of slice of life with each of these things. Yeah. All right. Okay. Big chop coming soon. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a pretty high guard just to knock okay. off a lot of that bulk. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and like work our way down to a, a length that you want to work at. All right. Okay, what are we starting with, like a six or an eight? Yeah, I'm starting at like a six right now. Okay, just to kind of cool. get all that, that bulkiness yeah, out of there. Do it. Oh, bye bye hair. Here we go. <laughs> and I like to like put my comb up here to keep the hair from like lifting up as I go up. Cause if I go like this, the hair wants to pick up with it. But if I kind of like hold that hair down and just kind of glide up above it, it helps keeping uh, you from going up too high and setting guidelines too high, like way up in here or something. So do you guys travel a lot? You guys are all over, you said? Both of us, not so much. We, uh, we've got guys all over the place, though. We've got a dude over in England who films like three or four shops. We've got a guy up in Philadelphia who does a bunch of stuff. A uh, man in New York sometimes does some stuff for us. I mean, we got guys everywhere. Yeah. Did you want to bring length down onto that at all, or just, just line it up? Nah, well, you can do it. Yeah, we'll, all right. Yeah. Just gonna kind of blend in the sideburn Perfect, into the yeah. beard here. So you see right in here on your sideburn, is that looking short enough there? Or you want to go any shorter than that? What do you think, man? What's your opinion? Mm. I'm gonna put my trust in your hands. Yeah, I can put it like bring it down maybe just like a one, okay. just yeah, to kind of give it a little bit more of like a. You know what I'm saying? Cleaner, sharper look. Hey man, experiment with me. Just all right, all right. <laughs> use make me it look good, right? Make it look good. All right. Oh man, our the actual founder of Beard Brand right now is rocking a mullet. Nah. -uh. So he did a video about it, and he called it. Um, the mullet is back, and here's why. It's back. It became our most disliked video we've ever made. Oh, really? Yep. Nice. <laughs> it's not bad. You know, he rocks like a variation of it. It's not like a 1980s mullet. It's a, it actually looks really good on him. It fits him really well. Yeah, it, if it, it. He's got a very cool personality and very cool style that's kind of unique to him. Yeah, so that taking that bulk off in the beginning just was like one of the easiest things to learn but took me a while to learn. It's hard, easy to learn, hard to master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was just like, I would end up doing fades mm -hmm. with like people that had like hair like yours. Like mm -hmm. I would just end up trying to do like a fade like without taking all that hair off. And it was just like, I couldn't see anything because the hair would just fall over where you were doing it. Yeah. And that's another reason why I ended up doing the, like when it comes to skin fades, mm -hmm. I like take the master's clothes and I just created that line. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm not fading into the hair. I'm just like knocking all that out. I don't know. There's always a method to madness, I guess, in barbering. Yeah, I found that like every different barber that we've had videos from has a different style. Yeah, favorite. everyone kind of cuts different. Yeah. Some guys That's what I thing. really like about being in a shop with all these guys. Like, mm -hmm. I can watch everyone and like learn and like put put what they like their techniques with my techniques and like you know what I'm saying just do different types. Yeah, exactly. I'm so happy I got, I got to this shop here, man. Yeah, I dig this shop, man. It's got a really good vibe. It's a great shop. Honestly, it's like, it was like the ideal shop of like somebody that's like wants to like be in like the barbering career. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was in a shop that was like commission and stuff. Like I won't say the name, but like I was in a commission based shop and I just was, I didn't like it. Like 
I love what I do and I love barbering, I love cutting hair, but yeah. when I was working in a commission based shop like that and like I wasn't, wasn't getting all my money, day. I was like waking up in the morning being like, oh, I don't wanna I don't go wanna to go to work. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I don't like I joined barbering because I, I don't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. So a technique that I learned with the clipper over comb was uh kind of like cut the hair in the direction that it's gonna lay okay. so it kind of like helps flow and like look ne uh, ne more natural that way cool. I used to kind of go the opposite way and it would like pick the hair up and like create like choppiness instead of going with the way that it lays it naturally just kind of yeah working with the hair exactly yeah I want to avoid taking like right around your calic too short so it doesn't stick up so yeah Oh yeah, that's been an issue. Yeah, 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 you don't want that to go too short, yeah, otherwise right. it'll stick up and then right. you'll end up having to take the whole thing way short yeah. because in order to keep it from sticking straight up, you have to just cut it down. Yeah, that way it doesn't look so poofy right there. Um, as well as kind of like right down here, it looks like there's like a like a little cow that was like pushing that hair out. So it's kind of sticking out. So I wanted to bring it shorter to avoid that. I got an appointment coming in five minutes. Does anyone have a... Just like right around the ears, I like to taper them out a little bit. That way it doesn't look so poofy in here. So I just take like the open masters and just kind of bevel and like angle out with it. Yeah, because I always wonder about that. I'm like, what's a, what's a guy who doesn't really care, you know, about all these terms? Like, what is he going to say? I ask, when was the last time you had a haircut? Okay. And if it's been like a month, your hair grows around a quarter inch to a half inch a month. So I'll be like, all right, so do you want a quarter inch off? And if they're like, no, nah, I'll be like, you want an inch off? Right. I'll be like, yeah, 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 take that. Because if they like their last haircut, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they like, the yeah, they like the length of it and everything, and they're like, I don't know what I get. I just, yeah. I'd be like, all right, well, when was the last time you had it cut? Then? You know? There. Yeah, and then I just kind of go from there. Yeah, exactly. Moving on to the beard. Yeah. All right, just moving on to the beard now. I used to kind of just like have people look their head up, but uh, like I said, just like watching watching all these like good barbers in here, I, I noticed that they would like lay them down, a little bit more comfortable experience, you know? Because normally I'd be like, oh, I just get it done a couple of times, like, hang on just a second, and, you know? The best thing like I ever did, like really early in my career, was just like letting go of my ego real quick mm -hmm. and just like asking people like, hey, how did you do that? Or like. Can you teach me this or teach me that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I remember like a lot of people like in school or like in other shops, they kind of like felt like they already knew it all and like wouldn't ask. Finally. Right. Yeah, this is 15 days of growth, no shaving. That's it? Yeah, man. Jesus. That would have taken me like a month. I'm telling you, man, uh, next month, and I, had, I grew my beard out for an entire year without trimming at all. Wow. No trimming. Well, I did the sides, but only twice. A little bit of maintenance, huh? Only two times of maintenance, and the rest, it got down to my chest. Wow. Yeah. We actually have a video of uh, this guy shaving it off, Sylvester. So really? Actually, he trimmed up my mustache. Everyone at the company shaved off a different part of my beard. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, man. That was a fun time, I bet. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I just I just went there to uh, to a uh, coach show, man. 
take them up and stick them inside. So I believe yeah, that's how we find the other two inside. So they use a giant sword, so I take them up and stick them up and put them on. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's crazy. So I was like, why are we here? Yeah. Why are we here? Yeah, so we love Yeah. One thing I learned the hard part is like doing like down and like doing that bottom part of the line and then turning it and then like going up and doing the top part of that line and then like not making it as wide as you want it to be with the trimmers just kind of like setting like up setting it in there mm -hmm. and then if you want it wider kind of like widen it with the blade itself i guess because i used to like try to make oh, oh you want yeah, it wider like I'm, I'm gonna yeah. widen it with the trimmers and then i still had to use a razor and it'd be like super wide i was like ooh, <laughs> super ooh. big one Like a whole different person now. <laughs> hey, Sylvester, I'll probably stop getting those comments that I need to get a haircut, right? I swear, every week I'll come on those videos and they'll be like, Jack, get a haircut. Jack, get a haircut, man. Yeah. You work for the grooming company. Yeah, they're like, grow your beard back. <laughs> you work for a grooming company, man. What yeah, you doing right. with your hair like that? No. Wait, you're not with Dorian, right? I don't know what to do with my hands. Just pull out the shears, bro, and just start flipping them around in circles, man. That's what I do when I want to look fancy. I just pull out the shears and flip them in circles. <laughs> All right, man. All right. I think you're all good. I'm gonna give you the mirror here in a second. Check it out. Is that for a transformation? I know that's right. A little aftershave here. here at South Austin Barbershop and I'm doing a haircut and a beard trim today. We don't do that. The same, they the same thing we did last time. That low ball thing. Yeah, the low ball thing is when the end of the beard. Oh, you yeah. want to bring length down on this? What do we do? Yeah, yeah. Like two or something? Or yeah, make this like super, um, like make it thin. You know what I mean? Because it makes like, my face look really <laughs> So like, yeah, 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 put, yeah, put in the beard. All right, we got to take it down. And then anything off the top at all? Or? They can take a little off, just a little bit. And no hard part, or you can hard part. I don't know what we do, I don't remember. I don't know, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. let you do what you want to do. So how much are we going to be taking off the top, Ricky? Um, I'm going to go with about just like a quarter inch here. Good deal. I'm not going to take too much off because he was just in here not too long ago. Sweet. And also when people are like, use your best judgment, I always take less and then you can always take more off, obviously. Mm -hmm. So are we doing the full top with just scissors today? Yeah, are we gonna go back yeah. With, yeah, just just shears today. Cool. I feel like it's kinda rare in the barbershop these days. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's getting like clippers on top or doing like a skin fade. Right. 
I mean, the, the sides is still gonna be like a skin fade. Yeah. It's just gonna be kind of like a longer top here, so mm -hmm. he kind of likes it to flow over here a little bit. He's been cutting his hair a while now. Yeah, man. When it comes to like long hair on top like this, mm -hmm. I try to do the top first, like with shears and stuff, like when mm -hmm. it's super long. But if it was just like a buzz, you know, like a three or something on top, I would do the top uh, first or the sides first, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. When it comes to long hair, I like to start on top first and then do the sides. Just going in with an open clipper now. Uh, no, this is closed. Okay. And I'm just kind of setting my guideline here. Sweet. And I'll just bald all that out and then fade it up. All right, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I was gonna get as many followers as I did from this. From the videos. From the videos, and it was like from all over as they are. Just people from like all over the world following me, and like. Pretty cool. Yeah, man, it's wild. I mean, even this, like this week, one of the gals that works at our office, her boy came in here and was trying to get a haircut from like Antonio or something like that. Yeah. And I guess Matt was saying, or I think it was Matt, it's like, yeah, you guys are like appointment only now or something like that. Like, it's really hard to get a walk in with you guys now. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get a walk in nowadays. That's, Especially on the weekends, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, though, man. It's like the beard brand effect that's happened with a couple barbers that we've done like over in England. Right. <laughs> Can I though? Is that fine? Oh. <laughs> so I just don't want to listen to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm on the airport. I don't know. We get a whole variety of play plays for a little bit until someone yeah. is it? Exactly. Yeah, halfway through the day, people were like, "What? What is this? What are we listening to?" Like everybody's like, thinking like, it, yeah, but I'm, no one's gonna say it. Yeah, I'm on hold with Spectrum or something right now. <laughs> That's funny though, because like people in the comments of these videos, like that we shoot here, they're like, man, the music here is always so dope. Yeah. Not that song though. Not that song. One thing I learned when it came to these full shavers, yeah, was like always flicking out with them, because I used to just like go in there with it, mm -hmm. dig such a hard line to get out. There'd be like hard balding lines in, in the haircuts. Mm -hmm. What I was wondering about, man, is those look like um, like shavers that you can get at the store, like yeah. consumer grade ones. Basically, yeah. Yeah, that's actually really interesting because a lot of barbers will use like an Andis foil yeah. shaver or something like that. Yeah, this is the Braun. I don't know what series it is, but I think that's the exact same one my brother uses. But yeah, yeah, yeah I bought one for my brother because he shaves his head a lot, and he mm -hmm. would always come in here and ask me to shave his head like completely mm -hmm. bald. Oh yeah. So I just bought him one of these so he can just do it himself all the time. So that kind of stacks up against like a professional one? Yeah, this one? Yeah. For sure. It's awesome, man. It's good to know. Right, time to start the fade? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna just take my one or my open for these. Okay. I try to leave on this side of the hairline right here, like where the hairline's at. Yeah. When I go in here, I try not to go all the way through that line. Why's that? So that leaves it a little bit darker for when I go back and do the lineup. Okay. It's kind of like sharper and it's not like there's not as less hair. Mm -hmm. So it's darker and it's easier for me to line it up. Makes it look, almost like a little it. bit of a guide. Yeah, sort of yeah thing. I kind of show yeah. you what I mean when I get to that point. Okay. Yeah. Are these just magic clips? Yeah. I feel like I gotta start like asking like all the tools because people will ask me in the comments like, what was he uh, using at this part? I'm like, what was he using? Uh, I don't know. The magic clips open.
turn on the one? Yeah, one open, and I'm just setting another line, or another right. guideline. So, I'll set a line, or a guideline, and then I'll go down, kind of how I just did in that last one. I had this open. Yeah. Went up with it about a half an inch, or whatever that is, mm -hmm. and then just started going down and closing this the more I got to the bottom. Sweet. And same concept with the guard on, open, and just work your way down. So now over here, I'm kind of like going into the hairline. So it's that little spot that you yeah, left. Yeah, that little spot that I left. Cool. Was there previously a hard part within this haircut? Looks like there might have been a hard part at one point. Yeah, we've done a hard part. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to fade in the beard with that open. Yeah. I try to just start here and just work my way open. Okay. And find a guard right around here and then comb as well. Sweet. Just kind of flicking it in. Yeah, it just kind of going fly would take too much out. Mm -hmm. First, the whole, yeah, it makes it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And it's essentially the same techniques on this side. Basically, yeah. yeah. Just one open, or a uh, no guard open, and then a one guard open, and then a two guard open, mm -hmm. and then blending out in between those. Cool. Necessarily clients, but like other barbers or like, uh -huh. other, like people like, facing it down. Yeah, 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 like doing that, and mm -hmm. then just kind of like elevating and like raking it up. Uh -huh. I mean, if it works, like, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like your own thing. I yeah. like that. It just helps kind of take out some heaviness. Mm -hmm. Combs like this are way better to use and smaller. You can get these like smaller areas that are kind of darker. Small bites. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
here at South Austin Barbershop and I'm going to be doing a haircut on Matt today. I know a guy. I know a guy. <clears throat> All right. What kind of a haircut do you want today? Can I get the about medium low skin fade with the side part? You want, a, you want the hard part cut in? I don't want to cut no, it. It's like a natural no, just part. A natural part. All right. Mid, low skin fade, you said? Yes, sir. And then you want a little bit of hair to comb down on the sides? Just a little bit of hair. Yeah. And how much do you want off the top? Uh, just a trim on top and also uh, whatever you think. Okay. So clean up the top a little bit. Side part, combing up down, and then mid, low skin fade. Do you want to do anything to the beard today or do you want to just blend it in? <clears throat> um, just fade it in. Just fade it in. You want to kind of clean it up a little bit. Cool. All right. I thought it was going to be like 70 degrees or something like that today. 70, 70 degrees? Like almost 80 degrees or something. It's nice out. It's just not, the sun's not out. Yeah, yeah. the sun just isn't out. Yeah, kind of gloomy out. Missouri was like minus three degrees. Minus three? Minus three degrees. That's why I left the Midwest, bro. <laughs> That's exactly why I left the Midwest. Well, that and I was getting in a lot of trouble, but <laughs> the cold. I put my horses. I had when I first moved into my house, there was like all this tall grass and like brush. First, I put the sheep in there, and they ate all the weeds. 
Over here somewhere? Yeah. Right here, right? Right here? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you for telling me. Sometimes people don't tell you yeah. until it's too late. Were you interested in all this before you got your land or? Yeah. Oh, you were, I was gonna say, or did you like get your land and your house and realize that you had a lot of work to do and then you started educating yourself on it? Well, I just started educating myself more on it. Yeah. After I got my house, because I realized I really have to take care of the uh, land. Right. But I've been uh, a little nature for a very long time. Yeah. I love the great outdoors. The great outdoors. That's what I like about being down here. There's enough of the city and enough of the outdoors. You can get both. I was learning about some of the, uh, a lot of deserts that we have are actually man-made deserts. How long did your grandpa cut hair, Matt? He cut hair for the OG. Over 60 years. 60 years. You always used to hang out in here before you started cutting hair? Not used to a whole lot. No. Cause, you know, I was younger and my grandpa had his old client. Right. And uh, I would come in here and get a haircut. Yeah. I never knew I was going to be a barber though when I was growing up. Really? Yeah. Started this barber shop in 1989. He had a barber shop in Iowa before that. There's a girl that works that I went to a barber school with. She works at a barber shop right across the street from there now. Wow. And uh, his old barber shop is actually a salon now. I sent her the picture uh, on Instagram of your grandpa cutting hair over there. Wow. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool coming from Iowa and then finding this shop and then the owner, or the original owner being from Iowa, or starting it in Iowa, I guess. Pretty cool. I didn't know that until about six or seven months into working at the shop. They moved here, I think they were tired, tired of shoveling the snow. Yeah. And then he opened up this barber shop in 1989. I was born two months before this car was Little did he know he would create something so well. I didn't even know I was going to be a barber either. Yeah, me either. I thought I was going to be doing construction. Or like own a construction company or a business or something. Because I still genuinely work. what I thought I was going to do. Yeah, building houses and stuff. Yeah, home repair. Yeah, it's fun. Working with your hands, creating something, building. That's exactly what you're doing right now. Yeah, which is how, which is why I feel this kind of it's like the same thing. transitions. Yeah. You're an independent contractor or whatever. 
same thing as if you would be in construction, except for you don't have to go outside yeah. and, uh, in the heat and the elements. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good job. Definitely doesn't feel like work, so that's good. I tried to give you a haircut like three weeks ago. You didn't want me to cut it, man. Coming up, but you know what it was meant to be. <laughs> but you know what it was meant to be. Cause now look at you. You guys ever have like you like mom ever put the like leftovers and like, like the, butter. the butter thing? Yeah, you get like, oh man, I'm trying to make some eggs, put the butter. Dang it, mom. <coughs> yeah, that's a pretty good day. I'm not gonna lie. Just like, we didn't have leftovers, sir. <laughs> We gotta quit littering in the oceans. Littering and littering and. <laughs> I just wanna go to a music festival. Every time I listen to this music. I went to see uh, Kike last night. Yeah, what's he talking about? Yeah, it's, he's got a nice, nice spot. Nice, nice right. spot, man. Real, real nice. Good location. This is Grizz. Yeah. Yeah. Who delivers the mailman's mail? The UPS. The UPS man. So it's the end of the movie. Yeah. Not the end, but the girl finds out. Ends up finding out. So one guy that was in my chair the other day, he's going to school for. I forgot exactly what, but they're teaching them over there at UT uh, about pollution and all the global warming and all the stuff that's going on. Yeah. And um, basically they're saying like within two years or the next two years, if something's not done about it now, we're going to get to a point to where they're like, it's, it's going to be irreversible. So yeah. we're like at a point now where we can do something about it, but... Um, in a couple years, there's going to be like a point of no return and, unless we as a human population work together to help save our own planet because 
We only got one yeah. to live on for now. So in Southern Africa, they've been doing this uh, planned grazing. Yeah. They have restored the grasslands and brought the wildlife back. Okay. Oh wait, you got a cat, huh? Nice. That's pretty cool. You got a bunch? Well, I've had a bunch of cats over the years. Really? I've been a dog guy, you know. I've had like eight million dogs, you know. But oh man. Here recently, it's kind of been like a cat thing in Austin because I've been in apartments. Yeah, that makes sense. Cats are cool. They always just seem like upset when you come home. They're just like, oh, it's you. Hey, put water and food in my bowl, would you? Thanks. Do you have a cat? No. No? All right, cool. I was going to say, whoops. I probably should have thought of this. Okay, nice. What kind of dog do you have? Your wife is going to be happy to see you all cleaned up. Sometimes when I stop working on the like the fade and then I go and clean the neck or do the top or do something else, it gives my eyes a break from looking at it the whole time and then I can see little spots. Like, oh yeah. I gotta take a picture of this and put it on the gram. Cleaned up a real barber over here. Cleaned up a real barber. Uh, Austin OG. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I don't like it. Take it off. Ricky here at South Austin Barbershop and I'm going to be doing a haircut and a beard shave today.
All right, so what did we want to do? Wanna like, it's kind of the same haircut, but just get rid of everything? Same haircut, but yeah, I'm gonna actually shave it all off today. Mustache, chin, everything. Yeah, yeah cause you normally get like, um, like a low, mid skin fade. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be blended in, and then we'll just take all this off, and since I kinda want a clean shave, we'll just get rid of everything, right? Yeah. And the hard part? Yep. And then on your hair, I forgot, do we, do we like leave enough? To comb down, or do you want it just like rounded on this side? Just where it's usually faded up. Yeah. Okay. So do you like a little bit of hair to comb here? No, just faded no, up. just short enough to where it's straight up over. It's gonna be rounded on that side of the head. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And just a trim on top. Yeah. Yeah. There's another one, Matt. Get him. There's another one. Outside this way. Thank you. They almost killed him. That <laughs> way knocked him out. You saw that? He hit the ground. Let's not kill the bees. Let's just escort them outside. <laughs> you know, since I've been living down here in Texas, I haven't seen a scorpion. No. Nah. Probably gonna jinx myself. <laughs> the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> telling them. Because uh, like Houston from here is probably like a two hour drive, so yeah. four hours from there, yeah. 
going to Houston uh, the last weekend of November for Griffin. Griffin? Who's that? Is that a the DJ? DJ? Oh, okay. Probably the only barber on the beard brand thing that cannot grow a beard. I took one of the best naps of my life out there, right on the beach. Worth it. That's what I'm saying. It's worth it. Seems like a good price. Actually, wait, you know what? I'm going to take some of this off real quick before I just go ahead and do the shade. Anyone scared yet? No. Look like this. There you go. This is my first shave, so I hope you're all right with that. I've been cutting hair for three years, my first shave. They gave me the name Razor Rick because I cut this dude's face one time. <laughs> Tried to shave my own face and we see, we see what happened there. How's that? Too hot? Perfect. It's good? Alrighty. Tell me if this is too hot. Good. Right. Sure? Yep. Uh, already. Yeah, I 
Turn your head that way. I'm just doing a once over. After like the main part of the shave, there's always like a little bit of stubble left. So just kind of go back over and get some of that. Some people don't like to use these after a shave. Because they're like, oh, you should be able to get all that with the razor, but there's like sometimes there's hard spots that you can't get, so put your ego away and just use it so that way the client's got a nice clean shave. Light burn. <laughs> Better than that time, but never mind. Yeah. And then a uh, cold towel to close up the pores. Good? Perfect. All right, go ahead and sit up.
can't unsee it. Ha <laughs> ha. Good morning. <laughs> Perhaps I could accompany you to some nourishment. <laughs> See what I look like. Is it good? Yeah. Let's see the back here. Let's spin you around so you can check out the back. Good? All right. Ricky here at the Beard Brand Studio in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to be giving Eli a haircut and a beard trim. It's a lot of hair, man. Yeah. Gotta get it out. So I was thinking a little shorter, probably a decent amount, uh, and uh, get it tapered off in the back. Get that summer look going. For sure. Yeah, I got a picture. Yeah. I got a picture to show you. This this one right here would probably be best to me. All right. So dramatically shorter then, correct? Yeah. Yeah. You want it like just as long as that on top, or do you want it to be with your length like a little bit longer, or do you want it like that? Long? Well, we'll play around with it, I guess. Cool. All right. Yeah. When was the last time you had a haircut, you said? Probably been about six months. Yeah. Beginning of the year. There's the title of the video right there. <laughs> First haircut, six months. Let's start off with the four. Just knock off around the bottom. Yeah. Around the bottom. Yeah. I've got a new ceramic blade. Oh yeah. On. Um, the seniors here. These are nice. Cuts a lot smoother. Oh, yeah, yeah quieter, and it's like that ceramic blade. It's real nice. So it's ceramic versus like what? Uh, it was like just a metal blade. Oh, okay. It came with it. So much better with music now. Yeah. What do you do for work, Gina? I'm a rowing coach. Just had a race this weekend, actually. My lightweight eight got gold. Oh, really? Going off to nationals. Nice. And work hard. Yeah. So, do you coach Eric then? Yeah, I, I did for a while, and then uh, focused more of my efforts on the junior athletes. But I do, I've coached Eric. He's a really skilled rower. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that he rows, at least not on the channel. Yeah, I had yeah. no idea. He's got that long, lengthy stroke because of his height. Let's get this little bottle out. <laughs> I actually made that. Oh, for real? Yeah. I just polished off a bottle of Tito's one day and I was like, oh, I wonder if I can use this. We used to have a Jack Daniels one. Really? Yeah. But we figured, you know, Tito's made in Austin. Might as well. Rep a local company. There you go. Right. So what are we doing now? 
Mm -hmm. I'm just doing the top right now. Almost looks like an inch. Yeah. No, maybe well, not. I'm gonna try to leave a little bit more just in case. I mean, I guess always take more off. Mm hmm. Play it safe, just start getting off some of these ends. Yeah, I'm just trying to knock off a lot of bulk around the sides, the top, and then really start working on like the blending everything in. <laughs> Seems like a lot of guys in that rolling team are tall. I mean, it's pretty long. Time. Yeah. Is that what it is then? So it's you want to be long, or I guess that's the best way. Yeah, there's the I wouldn't, I wouldn't do so hot in rowing. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do so hot in rowing. I mean, if you work hard, you can, you can do well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a big mental mental sport too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You push yourself to the limits. Length helps, mm -hmm. height helps. Right. That's just to get more force behind each stroke? Yeah. Um, you can reach out, uh, have more, more uh, length around the pin. Mm -hmm. Get What's more angle with the oar. I don't really Makes know much about rowing. Yeah. What is the pin? So the pin is like the, Part of the boat that's that uh, holds the oar in place, mm -hmm. and as you roll up on your seat, you extend your your arms and body forward to try to get the most angle with the oar out to the side of the boat. Mm -hmm. So that's like the fulcrum, uh, and then the, you just rip on it. Cool. So now I'm just going to do the taper at the bottom and then just kind of work in to blend in all this out. Okay. Anyway, that's just going to help with the grow out. Cool. So yeah, what, is, what exactly is taper like? Basically instead of, well Ricky, if you actually want to explain yeah, it, you probably so say it better it's than kind of a, So it's like a little fade in the back, instead of a, hair, a square hairline. Uh -huh. If you were to have just like a square hairline, mm -hmm. or a rounded one, when your hair grows back, it'll grow out like That's under that line. One. So then people yeah. will be like, oh man, that dude needs a haircut. <laughs> but if you have like these nice sharp lines on the sides, and then in the middle right here, it's faded out. Mm -hmm. When your hair grows back in, it'll grow into like a little fade. So oh. it looks like it like lasts longer. Do you do your other haircuts not on film? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I work at a South Austin Barbershop. All right. Yeah, over on the, in South Austin, like South First and, uh, I'll have to get Stasm. your card. Yeah, man. So I'm over there, and normally I'm there Monday through Saturday. All right. Yeah, you should be good down to him. But Ricky's been awesome coming up here the last few times. It's nice to switch it up and still be able to do what I love to do. So, you know. You still getting love down at the shop, man, from all the videos? Yeah, man. Sweet. Yeah. Lots of people coming in, saying they recognize you from the videos. Yeah, and what's even cool as well is uh, it brings more like notice to the barbershop itself. And okay. I've had I've seen clients that came in there that were like, "Oh, I seen uh, like Ricky on YouTube, but I liked like Troy's work better, or Matt's, or Antonio's. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or Beetle. So it's pretty cool that." Um, it brings like more clients also to the shop as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's good to hear, man. Yeah, and it's it's pretty nice. Taking the housing off the top of their detailers. Yeah. Um, 
So at first I thought, oh, people are only doing that because it's cool or whatever. And like the pros and cons of it was like, the, the pros is like it cools down supposedly, it'll like not get as hot as fast because it's not inside that unit. Mm -hmm. And then the kind of like the hairs like gets in there more obviously. Yeah, but the only reason why I did it personally, I chose to do this because uh, like hard parts, when I do a hard part or a design on somebody, I can see the corner, I can see both sides of the blade of like what I'm doing. Yeah. It's much more fun. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be able to see more. But I like these and they're super powerful. So. Yeah, those are corded too. I mean, there's like those Ambus ones, the yeah. slim ones a lot of guys use, but. Yeah, I use those, but. Um, Let's probably get a little more power to it because it's corded. Yeah. Showed up with like a shipment of logs, and he's like, "You guys want these?" Yeah. <laughs> what? No. No. Could have got creative with them. Yeah. Just turned Could it have into a little cabin. Yeah. Attack these uh, big old haircuts like this differently. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't always. For some reason, I don't always like cut the like, big transformation haircuts all the same. I don't know. Like when you, when I did yours, mm -hmm. when I think I started on the top first, and on this one I started oh, yeah. on the sides. Well, I just kind of depending on the cut, I guess I'll just go about it differently. Work it differently. Yeah. <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> Please. Just look at it. <laughs> Which way you want to come? You want to go this way or? I think it's you know, this way. Well, it normally goes this way. Yeah. But I think the natural way is the other way. You want to go this way then? I don't know. Yeah. Which way is? Mm. What, what makes more sense? Go natural or go? Yeah, I guess your Cali does like kind of lay this way. So mm -hmm. if you want to go this way more than you can. 
Mm-hmm. And then do you want it up like that as well? Probably up, yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. I think that would look good. Get some good. So, with your personal opinion, do you want to go shorter on top here? Um, or do you like it? I like, I like it. I like it. That. Maybe, maybe a, a little bit shorter in the maybe, front. Yeah, maybe. Mm. It's up to you. You gotta wear it. So it looks good. It looks Pers- good personally, I would say like yeah, keep the length because right. It will give you more to work with. Yeah. length off of your beard as much as I'm just kind of kind of clean it up a yeah, little yeah. bit, you know what I'm That's saying? Awesome. It's, it's, yeah, all right, cool. So normally I'll take, uh, like for the beard, I'll do like a one and a half, put a one guard on, go about halfway open, and go down with it. Like not pushing yeah. like down in there, but flatly, go flat. And just kind of helps take off stragglers and all the hairs that stick out. Beard look more together. Yeah. Better to go down. So now, yeah. Now if you see like this side compared to that side, I'm sure you yeah, see like totally. this is it's still it's the same. It's like still full, but it doesn't stick out. Yeah. Yeah, it is going better if you're doing this at home to go down rather than to go up. Yeah, there. yeah. I always went up. Going up is going to take off a lot more hair. Okay, now on your beard, do you want to go straight down here, or do you want to kind of do like the rounded? At the bottom? Um, like straight down looks sharper, yeah. cleaner, more so these are, structure. Yeah, I like I like the straight down. Yeah, straight down for sure. Had your beard trimmed at a barber shop? Mm, no. First time for everything, man. Yeah. Good man. I was worried. This is my first time too. So <laughs> <I'm not worried>. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Got, got a little quiet there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just let him know. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah we got to we got to do that. Otherwise, the comments are gonna go. Yeah, of course he has. <laughs> yeah, they get nasty. Yeah. That's why uh, I try to make the videos longer. So it's like, okay, look, that's everything they did. We right. talked about all, all this stuff. I uh, I kind of like some of the. I mean, I'm a fan of constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. Like, if there's somebody that's a better barber or hairstylist than I am, and they're commenting polite, or not politely, but they're like, "Hey, he could have done this better or whatever, mm-hmm. like that better." I'm a fan of constructive criticism. That's only right. gonna make me better. Mm-hmm. But if it's like some 18 year old kid that like lives in his mom's mm-hmm. basement somewhere, and he's just like, "Your tattoos are stupid." Yeah, it's like, exactly. Come on, yeah. man. Like, it has nothing to do with the haircut. Like, exactly. Try to help each other out around here instead of, you know. Bring them down. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, who does that help? Exactly. Nobody. Like, constructive criticism, I'm all about that. I, like, try to let that pride and ego go as soon as I was in school. Mm-hmm. Like, well, somebody's better than I am, so I'm going to take their advice and try to do what they do. Yeah. Everybody's got an opinion, man. Whenever people start showing off their talent. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then of course when we do the studio videos, we're just like Eric or I talking 
they just make fun of how we look <laughs> or how we sound. Or they make fun of my eyebrow. Why they make fun of my eyebrow? I started cutting so that people would shut up. <laughs> That's funny. and less nervous. That very first video, I was watching, I don't even watch them. I can't even watch it. I was, oh, I don't watch them. I was such a dweeb. And I was like, no, I'm not watching that. I was just, you could just tell in my voice the way I was talking. I was like, oh God, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, I don't even watch them. I watch like the first 30 seconds. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> it's on there. The video worked. Yeah, the video worked. Uh -huh. You want it kind of down on the neck as much as possible, or just kind of right above the Adam's apple here, where it seemed like you kind of had it at first? Yeah, probably yeah. where it fits best. Oh, sorry. Yes. Right above the Adam's apple.
out, ready? Yeah. yeah. Put a little bit of beard oil. I'm gonna say uh, beard oil. I, normally, I have like a, like an elegance gel or like an easy blade or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes I'll just use water. Or mm -hmm. like, but a beard oil, a beard oil works nice. Yeah, especially you just put your beard get a little excess. Yeah. I guess I, I could have brought that, huh? What's that? The latherizer? Uh, we need to find one of those. For like the hot towel, like the yeah, next yeah, day. Yeah. I feel like that's a very important part. <laughs> it's it's funny though, that's uh, your barbershop's one of the only ones that we filmed that actually has one. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know what it is, so. Uh, it's literally just like shaving foam, like hot shaving foam kind of thing. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. How's that looking? Good? Really good. Really good. That looks really nice, man. Cool. Sweet, man. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Let me see if I oh, yeah, look it up more close in the mirror here. Yeah, that's, that's really good. I'm Ricky here at the Beard Brand Studio, and I'm gonna be cutting Carlos Costa today. Oh, so, kind of just what we talked about uh, before, right? Just a low skin fade here. You want to keep, uh, or actually, you want to take some of the length off up here. Correct? Yeah. Not you, much though. Just you a see bit. what you need, but I kind of yeah. want to. I want to have a pompadour. Okay. Uh, because I really dig it and right. I think this is the right time for me to go for a cool pump there. Okay. So we we'll probably need to lose some weight, not right. much. Right. Um, and obviously bring these sides down as yeah. well. Because otherwise they don't yeah, these will get brought down along yeah. with the, the fade as we go up. And we'll take some of the length off, but keep trying to push this back into that pompadour here. See, with the pompadour actually, I'm glad you said that. I, would, I like to style it like that, but forward. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So it sits. Yeah, more this yeah. way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Okay. At the moment, because it's so long and so heavy, I, I, I haven't had a haircut for a while because I was waiting for these. Mm -hmm. um, it's just hard to style it like that. So every time I style it back, it just, keep, just holds there. Mm -hmm. It's hard to bring it forward. Right, okay. Yeah, so. Right, Work your magic, go. man. Awesome. And then for your beard. With the beard. Yeah, man, let's shave it off. Just take it summer off. Summer is here and I enjoy the last summer, so let's take the beard right off and leave the mustache. Okay, just leave the mustache yeah, as long as it is. Just a stubble, like a half, maybe. Okay. Half guard or something. 
Zero point seven five. Oh, you just want like a half down here, not like yeah. completely. Not just, completely, just a shape. little bit, just something yeah, to see. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then are you gonna want to line that stubble up or just leave the stubble no, like no, that natural? natural, natural okay. Natural. And then yeah. we're taking this and just leaving it like. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Mm. Do you have any preferences on where do you want to start? You want to start with the beard? I want to go said? with the beard. Just want to start with the yeah. beard. Yeah. All right. Because then we see how we can. I don't know. Maybe look at do something different with the hair. Okay. Cool. We see. At the moment, we have a plan, but that might change. All right. <laughs> All right, so with a half, correct, sir? Yep. All ready. <laughs> that was a good look. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. You said you're gonna wear it down like this? You're yeah. not gonna do like the. Uh, All right, cool. I like uh, Freddie Mercury wing. All right. You said what you said. <laughs> You want the mustache that's still there lined up? Like on the lip area? On the lip? Yeah, just kind of like cleaned up. Off yeah, the but lip. not much. Not much, not, right? Yeah. Like, not right to the top. Just like, just a little trim just on the lip. On the lip. On the actual lip. Yes, sir. All right. About right. I missed that. I actually missed that. <laughs> You're gonna keep the stubble, Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, no point of clean shave. I don't like clean shave. Okay. I've got very sensitive skin. Okay. How's the mustache going? You want to do anything more? Because I know how you said you wanted me to leave some under here a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look. Um, can yeah. you pass me that? Yes, yeah, sure. there, please. All right, let me check. Um, 
I reckon just trim a little bit the ends, mm -hmm. um, but not really. Actually, you can you can clean a little bit more. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the tricky right, side. Yeah. Can I cut this off a little bit more, or you want to leave the? Because yeah, yeah, that's what you said was. The... It is thin, but I think if it's not part of the mustache, you right. can take it off. Okay. Yeah, I actually like it scruffy. Maybe just, yeah, take a little bit there just and a little that, bit there. And, that. Okay. and even leave the ends as it is for now. Okay. Yeah, you just want to leave those? Yeah, and we see at the end, but oh, I really? think at the moment it's looking pretty All right. scruffy. Low skin fade, correct? Yep. All right. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I think this will be the first time I've ever cut hair that's super quiet like this. Yeah, people really like that one, don't they? Mm-hmm. Right now, normally when I do like bald fades, I always take my master's clothes because the blade's not as, it's different, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but it, it doesn't cut as deep or as sharp. So when I use this to set my guideline, like the initial balding line, it's easier to get this line out with my magic clips or my masters. So I always start with uh, for bald fades, I'll always start with the masters closed and just go around and cut a line. I used to go in and try to do this, and like, this works for some people going like that, mm -hmm. but sometimes you won't get that line as, as uh, neat to start it. And for me, I was taught the, the first guideline is one of the most important. That way you don't have an uneven fade. Mm -hmm. So I start with the masters, then I'll go back with some trimmers and knock all this out. As you can see, there's like a little line in here because this is a half and mm -hmm. then this is the bottom line. So. Just kind of blend that in a little bit more. Just into the half. Just need a new muffler. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the one, or uh, no guard, so opening up the seniors all the way. I'm setting another guide, and then I'll fade down. Find it easier fading fade down rather than fade up? Uh, I, I can do both, I vary, depending on the kind of haircut. 
So with his haircut, he said the low skin fade, and in order for me to keep it going too high, I'll fade down. That way I know I, I'm not gonna bring it up any higher than either of us want. But like if somebody's getting a high bald fade or a mid bald fade or something, I'll, depending on how I feel, I'll fade up or down. Uh, yeah, this is the half. So I just put the one guard on, opened it up, and set that other set that other guide. And now I'm fading down. So it's got the half in here, taking out some of this weight. Yeah, it's the two open now. Just taking more of this out of here. Yeah, I'm doing the clipper over comb now because uh, once I get past like a two guard open, that's kind of to the point where I can just hit the hit the clipper over comb. Mm -hmm. I can kind of nitpick more. Just repeat basically. I do one side and then the other. Hopefully no one tries to uh no one tries to uh hurt me for <laughs> shaving off your beard, man. Okay, you <laughs> some, of, some of your fans out there are gonna Hunt me, I asked, hunt me down. I asked for it. This is disclaimer. <laughs> Your fans are gonna hunt me down, man. <laughs> I think one of the coolest messages I've gotten from somebody was uh, this kid who's like 16 or 17. Mm -hmm. He said that the whole reason why he started barbering is because he's seen the the video. the video. Yeah. Really? I was like, what? That's crazy. He's like, yeah, man, you definitely inspired me to start barbering. He's like, whoa. That's that's what we do, man. It's pretty yeah, crazy, you know. Yeah, like, actually, I didn't, I didn't think uh, me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or like what I do. I was just doing, you know. Mm -hmm. I found that when it comes to cutting people's hair, a lot of people know what they want, but don't know what it requires to get that. So people will kind of want like your haircut, but they'll be like, oh, but bring the fade up high. And it's like, well, you know, or like, don't drop it in the back. And you know, you gotta kind of explain to them, well, you need this weight in the back for the hair to like flow and stuff. Or they want a haircut that requires a lot of maintenance. It requires, you gotta get up, blow dry it, style it, you know what I'm saying? Take yeah. care of it. 
but they don't want to do that, yet they want that haircut. Yeah. So I've learned to kind of politely explain to them, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yo, if that's what you want to do, then you're going to have to get up and do this, and then they yeah. end up realizing that they don't want that haircut. Right. They're like, all right, well, just give me like a more low maintenance kind of a haircut. Say you want it off again now? Not too much, right? You just a little bit because you're yeah. still gonna be able to do this pompadour, but up and have it kind of yeah. stick more that way. Yeah. So just like a quarter inch off or yeah. Yeah. Check this out for me. Tell me if you want to do anything different at all. I think with the mustache, I think I'm going to leave it rough as it is. Okay. I'll leave it kind of that natural scruffy. Yeah. Or maybe just take like the very end. Look, this one is super long mm -hmm. compared. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, like just the very, very end there, I'd say. Okay. Just leave it scruffy the rest of it. Yeah, just pretty much this. Right. right here. Sweet. Perfect. So it's good. Let me check out the back. Spin your room. Yes, sir. Oh, you guys look different. Oh, yeah. That looks good, man. It looks good? Yeah. And yeah, I can see at least three different hairstyles that I can do with it. Yeah, that's a really versatile one. That's cool. <laughs> 